One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In the shot. Good. And marker. You see it along the games, the practices. If you watch how we are together, we're very unselfish and we're in it for the long haul. To win a championship, you need a lot of things to go right, but you need a lot of different players that have the willingness to go out there and do whatever it takes. The Red Wings roster has depth. Four lines filled with unsung heroes willing to do whatever it takes to win. When we're all doing our job, it makes the guys on the one and two line do their job easier. A uh, perfect role player, do whatever the coach says and be selfless and you know try to contribute in any way possible. Well, I think I think it's important for for every player to kind of grab onto a role, and that's sometimes a difficult thing in the NHL. A lot of times, guys come into the NHL having uh, you know been in a certain role, whether it be in the American League and junior and college in Europe, different than what they may find themselves in the NHL. Um, not everybody can be the half wall power play guy. Not everybody can be the top line center. And so then you got to look at and say, okay, how can I make myself important to the hockey team? How can I uh, be a big impact on helping our hockey team win? And everyone just everyone knows their role. Like we had, we had a uh, a talk in the beginning, just about who you are and what can you do for the team. And I think guys are doing just that. Yeah, then we definitely have depth. You know, and yeah, I think everybody's bought in. Um, you know, when you start winning games, it's a lot more fun, and it's fun uh, with the crowd here as well. You know, it's hard to start the season and say, okay, this is exactly the role you're going to be in all season because that's not really how it works. It, it, it depends on how guys play, it depends on uh, injuries, depends on circumstance. And in some cases, uh, if you haven't coached players, you're not quite sure what they are yet, even though, you know, from scouting you, you have an idea, but until you really get them, you're not sure. So I, I would say, you know, it starts with me and our staff saying, okay, this is what we're looking for from you. This is where I think you can be different than other players on our team. This is where you can be uh, very valuable to our hockey team. And I think our guys have done a good job um, when we've had those conversations of, of uh, wanting to excel in those roles, not just accepting those roles, but wanting to excel in those roles. I was actually going to, a, I remember, I was in the train, going to a party at my friend's house. I was a little bit upset, for sure, because, uh, you know, the season I had, I expected, but uh, my plan was already set anyway, so it didn't matter that much for that reason, but, yeah, I mean, you still, uh, that age, and you see you, you see the rankings, right? It's more, you, you go based on that, and based on uh, feelings, so it was uh, a little bit disappointing. Were you able to kind of channel that as motivation throughout your career? Um, no, I mean, obviously not really, because I was always motivated. Well, Suits is a really, really smart hockey player that kind of can do a lot of everything. He can, he can kill penalties, uh, he can play in your power play, he's skilled enough to do that. He's a reliable two-way center, you know, he wins huge draws for us. I've been just working every practice, uh, you know, off the practice, taking face-offs, uh, looking at video. You look at some center icemen, even superstar center icemen that came in the league, Sidney Crosby comes to mind where face-offs were not something that he excelled at early on in his career, but he got better at it, he improved at it, and when you see improvement in a player when he arrives, even with a new organization like Suter, uh, that's got to make you happy. You know, he has this Amazing shot, you know, sneaky shot, and he's been, you know, showing it off in Detroit. Scores! A short hand to go! The first in 101 games! Is that one of those moments where good was uh, you didn't have much time to think about, or you were uh, in the zone and, and you know, you just seen opening and shoot it, and uh, yeah, it was, it was a huge goals, two goals for us, especially we're right after uh, the place was going wild and uh, you know, we win the game. 
And there's a lot of nights that line's our best line. And certainly offensively, at times they've been really, really good. He's been a, a real, real solid uh, addition to our hockey team. It's at practice where a player's role is built and improved. You ready? Let's go, be talking, be talking. Hey Joe, you can mix in at center and put Gio on the wing too, you know what I mean? Reset, reset, reset! Get in! Higher, higher! Second one, second puck, D zone, D zone! Let's go! Let's go! Smitty, you ready for it? If you get it, you're going. Yep! Uh, to describe my role, I'd say my role is a very strong, powerful, tough role. I think it's important that the guys playing for the Red Wings recognize that there's a player like Giovanni that has their back. It's a game within the game. You know, you got scoring goals, there's blocking shots. In my role, it's, it seems simple, which I try, I try to simplify it. And, um, it's just a tough, powerful role. Giovanni Smith trying to ignite his team. Giovanni is a, is a huge man. Uh, he's a big, strong presence out there. And, and, and again, he can be a, a physical presence for us. And that doesn't just mean hitting. That means winning battles. That means going against other big, big men in this league and finding ways to get to the net and be hard at the net. When I step up to change momentum and get everybody involved, you know, with a fight or with a big hit, when it does happen, it's just like, whoa, like, he just did that. He plays hard and it's, it's fun to watch. I mean, he gets in those fights. Uh. Everyone loves Smitty and, you know, no one messes around with us on the ice and he's, you know, always there to step in and, and, and fight when needed. So I think he has a huge role on this team and he's been great for us. I can tell you for certain that our guys know when he's on the ice and our guys know when he's on the bench. They know that they have somebody who uh, is, you know, can, can have their back, is big and strong, can fight, is tough, uh, and is a big presence. And a role player's job isn't just what he does on the ice, it's what he does between shifts, it's the conversations that he has on the bench, it's uh, energy that he has to bring. That's the type of role guy that you want to be, and there's been a lot of good role players that have rolled through Detroit. It's good to, you know, know how to play any position. I mean, I came in the league as a centerman and, you know, played as a center for a couple of years and then was switched to, to wing. So for a young player coming in, it's, I think it's a good thing to, you know, know how to play in any position. I think uh, Stevie recognized that he, he can be like a Swiss Army knife. He can be a player that can jump up and play big minutes on the top line. He can also kill penalties when necessary. He can jump on your power play. He can be that guy that has enough talent that he can compete with the top players on your team and also against the top players on the opposition. He scores! What a beautiful goal! It's one nothing, Detroit! Well, I think Vladi wants to win. and. Vladi wants to be a big part, part of it, but he wants to win number one. He's, again, one of those good, unselfish players I think we have on our team. We consider role players, and I was one of them, to be glue guys, to, you know, to be whatever is needed in that situation. Vladi has been huge for us. Uh, you know, he's been scoring our goals. He's been a big part of the team. Wherever the coach, you know, puts me, I'm trying to, you know, bring that energy and, you know, play that reliable game and just try to contribute as much as I can. With players contributing on all four lines, the Red Wings know that anything's possible going into April. Well, good things come to those who wait. 
you know, we understand and see that we have an opportunity every single night to win. I'm going to do whatever I can to help my team win. It's not about their individual year, it's about our team having a great year. So when we're playing together, we're, we're hard to beat and we're, we're learning, we're, we're a young team and we're just going to get better from, from here.